In this video, I will show you how you can change your wireless card in your desktop. I'm gonna change the wireless card in my Dell Inspiron 3671 desktop because the wireless card that comes with this desktop is only a single band wireless card and I want a dual band. The dual band Wi-Fi card is better than the single band because it also works on the 5 GHz band and the 5 GHz band is less prone to interference and is faster than the 2.4 GHz single band that came with this desktop. This is a card I got from Amazon. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you care to check it out. What is nice about it is that it comes with screwdriver and it also comes with a set of screws in case you need them. So let's start. I'm going to open it up first. So this is a screwdriver. This is a card. And the Dell has two screws here. And they work with this screwdriver, which is very good. And I'm going to show you the wireless card. And this is the wireless card that I need to remove. You need to remove also the antenna cables. And then you remove the wireless card. It has a screw, as you see here. Need to be removed. And these are the antenna cables that you need to remove also. So simply unscrew the screw, do it carefully and don't force it. When the screw is removed, just pull it back as shown with the arrow. And you see this plastic covering here. This is to protect the antenna cables. I'm just going to remove it like that. I'm going to reinstall it later. The wireless card form factor is M.2-2230. So even if the new one is a little bit bigger, the slot is a standard one, so it will go in. And now let me remove the antenna cables very slowly, like that. And I'm going to put back the antenna cables here. You should be careful to put them as they were. Don't change their location. It's a delicate job, so make sure to take your time and not force them because otherwise you're gonna break the pin so these are the antenna cables in place and I put back the plastic covering and let me install now the card here carefully push the card in like shown by the arrow and then I'm gonna put back the screw and one thing I didn't like about the screwdriver that they provided is that it is not magnetic so I got my own screwdriver that is magnetic, which facilitates a lot the installation of the card. So this is the card installed. I will put back the desktop now together and turn it on and see how I will configure it. After I started my Windows 10 machine, it recognized the card directly. All I have to do now is reconnect to my wireless network and everything will work as expected. Don't forget also that if you had a Bluetooth connection configured on this card, you might need to reconfigure it. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.